Welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we're at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Well hello there fellow farmers, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19, welcome back to uh, 2021, it's been a while, yes it has, I think it's been 3 weeks since I've been playing Farming Simulator the last time around because there were some other games and there was uh, Christmas holidays and whatnot. so uh, well now we're back and uh, well a happy new year, I hope you're still doing quite well out there. Um, I am going to tell you a little about some channel updates that's going to happen. Normally I put out like three videos each week and that's not gonna continue uh, because uh, yeah, things have happened and uh, a lot of things going on and uh, well I guess you can know, you know why. Uh, I don't want to go into some details but it affects the whole world, right? Um, I've had the pleasure to uh, educate my kids at home and I uh, also got a new job. Uh, so with that in mind, and I really need to uh, do a lot of time management and uh, well, as uh, doing videos on YouTube is uh, my hobby, then uh, I have to prioritize things that I do in my real life. So when that said, um, yeah, it's gonna be one video per week, per week. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be something uh, a continuous adventure of Michael and Anna. I'm gonna hold on with the mods Monday, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. And uh, in case you haven't realized, we are back at uh, Richie's Hollow. Yes, we are, uh, because uh, Old Man One or Two has been updating all of his maps. Why not take another run on this map? It's like coming home. It is. This really is. So, uh, without further ado, I uh, will show you how to uh, set up while I just save this little game here. Now we're gonna quit, and we're gonna take you through the through the whole process. As you can see here, we're starting up on the uh, Trello.com here on the Richie Will Map Updates uh, Trello board, where we got all this cool stuff. Right, so first and foremost, I have just updated everything. I've just downloaded all the packs and all the mods. So I'll just take you through that process. Right, first and foremost, we're gonna look into the available maps. And we got we got Richie Will, we got Richie Hollow. Uh, sorry, we got Richie Hollow, we got Richie Will, and we got Richie Islands. So all of these three, go click on them, and then you start downloading the... Uh, the map and the common files attached to it. So there should be a link provided for every one of them. There we go. Pretty awesome. Then secondly, then says here, available mod packs can be used on all three maps. Really cool. So required mods and the vehicle pack and assorted placeable pack and placeable silo pack and placeable animal pin pack pin the pack right furthermore there are some mods over here i think the heating plant and the hayloft is actually a part of this pack i don't know if it's been updated since but i should go with these ones or two and then just overwrite uh, the mods you have in your folder so once we've downloaded all the mods these are all the mods that have been downloaded i put them in a folder on my external hard drive then I've marked everything out and I copy, copy paste them into my folder that's in my game. Now I have a specific folder for that uh, because I'm running with the PV tools. And if you would like to use that PV tools, I made a, a video on how to do that. Uh, you can always go to uh, pvmods.com uh, where you'll find that tool. I think it's in the process of being updated. Um, so yeah, check that out if you want to do that. But otherwise, you can put all your mods uh, in the Farming Simulator 2019 mods folder. Now I've just called this Richie Maps Collection or Maps Richie's 
collection um, where we got all of the maps inside islands ritual and hollow and then i have unzipped all of the packs here it says unzip first so of course you're going to do that uh, right click and then open and extract two as we used to when we need to unzip i think all of the packs need to be unzipped uh, and if you're in doubt then read what it says <laughs> unzip first unzip first unzip first unzip first so we need to unzip first um well, not of the charging station. You don't have to unzip that. Um, but else, all the other ones need to be unzipped and then put into the folder. Right, that's done. So, you'll end up around 80, 85-ish mods. I got 105 because I've added a lot uh, of my own mods that I like to play around with. Um, just, uh, you know, some add-ons and some uh, shovels and... Uh, Beefed up Manitou, we got uh, uh, where's some else, we got some, uh, let's try to, we got some clo global company placeables I've put in, we got a 50 meter plows, uh, because yeah, that makes life a little bit easier, hot smart shade, hot hide, things like that, um, so around 80, 85 ish mods, I'm not sure, but in that area, right. So whenever this is placed in your farming simulator mod folder, we are ready to uh, start up the game. And uh, let's do that. Right. Very well known screen here. Going to go into the career. I got a few save games here. All the, the files I'm playing with now. You can see uh, we have put all the maps in the same folder. So we can see Hollow, uh, Ritual and Island at the same time. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to start up for this session uh, another save game. Uh, it's new farmer and then we're just gonna see yeah you can see you can see all three maps here we're gonna start this one up uh, just brand new game here all the mods uh, normally I just deselect and select all to make sure that everything is marked out normally it is but sometimes you know sometimes a check mark can be missed and uh, strange and we're gonna start up and it's gonna start loading then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the lock, the gaming folder, right? And you'll find that little text document here called lock. And you're going to open it up. So there we go. Good. So what we're looking for in this lock is um, we can control F and we're going to look for, no, not that one. Going to look for errors. Cannot find any errors. That's a very good start. And then we're going to look for warnings. I suspect I'm going to find some, because, nope, no warnings, that's not true, maybe I spelled it wrong, uh, let me see, I know I got a warning, warning, ah, warnings, warning, there we go, let's think that's the only one, ah, we got two, alright, let's check it, uh, warning, could not register brand, image is missing or empty, Ah, uh, that's fine. That's one of the mods. What's that? I don't know. This ignition thingy, thingy. The item is missing. Well, that's not game breaking, so we can ignore that. Um, there was another one that I found. Where is that? Yeah, this one. Warning. Try to assign. I got a lot of uh, key binding issues uh, because I am playing with joysticks and um, wheel. And pedals so if you don't do that you shouldn't have those warnings it's the game is just telling you that it's trying to rebind something and uh, it was not really possible so the new binding has been ignored so that's all in all it doesn't do anything it's just warning you about something so we got two warnings we don't have to concern ourselves about so that's perfect hopefully this should mean that we're not gonna encounter anything strange or mod conflicts or well, you never know, but at least for now, in the good startup here, then um, we don't have to worry about that. That's how you check your lock. Pretty awesome. So, we don't can save that. We can close this one down. And I think we can go into the game. Yes, startup. Alright, so, here we are. If you're familiar with the yada yada yada, yeah, I'm pretty familiar with it. Thank you. Right, that's our truck. Hey, strong farm mod. Right, welcome to Richie's Hollow. Hey. So, well, it's good to be back. It's really good to be back. 
I think Eleanor has missed us. Yes, she has. Right, so what are we starting out with? Well, mm, same deal as always. What's the best? What's the strategy? What's the best plan? Well, I... What did we do last time around? Well, we cut a lot of grass, right? And we did a lot of shenanigans up here. And then we started up getting things done, earning some money. Uh, I think we're going to go with kind of the same strategy this time around. I'm just going to check pressing X what kind of lands we do own. Yeah, we got access to Eleanor's up here, so that's a huge amount of grass. We can benefit from that. We got the coal mine already. Um, then we got this area down here that I believe is all the storage buildings uh, where we can place stuff. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. And then we got, uh, what is that? That's the beehives, Aras. Yeah, we can produce some beehives. And yeah, we can also get some honey and some wax. Um, however, the beehives require plywood, I should think. And the plywood we're going to get from, where is it? There it is, the sawmill or the mammoth mill, I think. The mammoth mill or the sawmill. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we need this. Yeah, we need the mammoth mill. Yeah, because the sawmill is where we're going to sell stuff. Yes, now I remember. Okay, so we need to get into this the first time around. Uh, that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, that needs 411,000. That's a lot of money. And what do we have? We have 100,000. Well, luckily, we got some equipment we can sell. And gonna do just that. Because, uh, yeah, we could uh, we could play around with this. But I'm not going to. Uh, we could also play with this. Not going to do that either. It's, it's a nice gift. Thank you. But, uh, nope. Uh, we're gonna keep the truck. Uh, this one is placed up at the sawmill. Uh, I'm not going to use that. No, thank you. And this one neither. Nope. And there's an open horse pasture. Yeah, we can leave that. That's no problem. That's no issue. Right. So where do we have all our cool mods? Here. There's one of them. There's the uh, Trek 600. It's going to demolish trees. And we're going to put a plow on the back. It's pretty awesome. Um, but here are all the cool mods we have downloaded. There they go. Very good, cheap price. And we got all the stuff we need to uh, get a good playthrough on this map. Ah, oh, the Unimog. Oh, the times with the Unimog. So that's pretty awesome. Yes, yes, yes. Now, uh, we sold everything. Oh, almost everything. We still got the car. And that leaves us with 908. Right, we can go buy stuff. And now comes the time that we need to return to uh, my initial save game because this was a new save game right so um please hang on all right i think we're almost there yes there we go let's start it up perfect yep the car is still down here I haven't moved that around but let's uh, jump skip into this one the corner forest that we were uh, taking out for a little stroll so what i've been doing well actually I have been, uh, well, as you can see, mowing a little bit of a grass. And I've placed down this uh, fermenter silo here. It's part of the BD mud pack. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It goes with the global company script. Uh, let me show you where. Oh, not that one. Uh, it's under placeables, isn't it? Yeah, the global company scripting here. Uh, the fermenter fuel. Because then it's producing silage. We can sell for a good profit. And then we're going to have some... Uh, fuel that we can throw into the coal mine and uh, then we are pretty good to go because the coal mine right uh, we need coal uh, for the mammoth mill as far as I remember or is it still wood chips hmm well I can't really check now because we don't have money to buy do we no not anymore <laughs> uh, right um well, we just have to wait a little. Uh, we're gonna sell some. Uh, gonna sell some silage pretty soon. Uh, what we got? Yeah, we got a little bit. I've been around. Uh, we can have two hundred and fifty thousand units of grass in that little thing there. Um, hmm. Now we could plow everything up and then just get a hard worker to uh, to do the mowing up here. Uh, that could be a solution. Um, 
Yeah, that could be something. But then we need to plow, and then we need to seed, and uh, well, not right now. Well, anyways, uh, we still got some vehicles down at the shop, don't we? Yes, we do. There we go. The Fent 1050, and we got a little millet machine, and uh, a tanker, and a tipper, uh, and a truck. Now, the tank, uh, the truck, the Scania, and the tipper here is the uh, lusty tipper. That's two mods that I've brought in. The rest is the part of the pack we downloaded. And I can just show you I filled enough with this lusty trailer. Um, it holds five million units. I'm using it on my PV County as well. Uh, it's excellent. It's really lovely. Um, the truck, well, it got lights that no other has seen. It shines so bright. Uh, so if you've seen some of the uh, the Mods Monday that I have been doing recently, then uh, you can see a little showcasing of this one. Uh, but I'm sure I'm going to show you anyways. Um, the other ones is in here. The millet machine is right there. And the Fen 1050 comes with a good discount. That's just, where is it? There. And what more was it? It was the tanker. Yes, there we go. So we should be good to go. Uh, so we can have diesel in the tanker and we can have uh, a lot of coal in the uh, tipper. And the middle machine is going to bring us the coal in the tipper. Yeah, something like that. Right, so we can, uh, we can start placing that. Yes, we can. Just going to do it like that. And uh, so, where are we going again? Where are we going again? We're going to the coal mine. That's uh, this way, I believe. Yes. It drives pretty fast, this uh, Fent 1050. So, yeah. I'm going to do these episodes as less cutting as possible. Uh, because uh, not only going to use time for recording, I'm also going to use a lot of time for editing. And as I mentioned before, my time is pretty, pretty precious in these days. So I hope you bear with me. So it's going to be some kind of a live video, more or less. And uh, yeah, with that said, I got some guys digging up and down the street, putting in fiber. And I don't know what they're doing. I mean, it's just a hole in the ground and they need to put some cables in the ground, right? They've been on it for half a year now. Just goddamn, they <laughs> put up the box and let me have some fiber. Um, I can't, I can't live stream yet because uh, I'm living outside in the country. And uh, the connection is not that great. Actually, it's pretty terrible. So, um, yeah, I tried a few times, but I uh, had so many frame drops that uh, it was just ridiculous. So uh, it's not going to happen anytime soon, but hopefully in a few months, then we'll be good to go. Now, where's the coal mine? Is that? No, that's the stone. Did we? Ah, looks like there's something black down here. Ah, trees. Well, which reminds me, we might need the, uh, the brooks or rather its uh, replacements. It's going to be the Merrick tree. It's a beefed up brooks. I actually don't think... Do I even have that in here? Uh, forestry equipment? Uh, I do. Yeah, that one. The what? The skidding crane? Where does, does that come from? What's that? This vehicle can transport tree logs. Hmm. Oh, the MRF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Never mind, never mind. Don't worry about that. Um... Do we need wood chips? I believe we do sooner or later. Uh, let's give it a wood chip color. Uh, design color. What's that? Ah, that one. Yeah, might not be in pink. Um, no. Uh, what would be a good color? That one? Yeah. Sure, why not? Uh, we can remove the logo on the side, I think. And let's just keep it. Three-point attachment, yes, capacity, we can crank it up to three million. Uh, yeah, three million. That'll do it. Right, uh, we got 218. Should we should we just uh, exploit this uh, Fint? Just for stars. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, where was it? Here. 
Three thousand. That's a bargain. We'll have some. A few. Uh, not too many. White tires and weights. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, yeah, but uh, why not? Fine. That's fine. Oh yeah, and then one more thing. I hope I got that installed. I promised my son to put this weight on. Uh, if I can find it, probably I can't. Uh, I'm gonna go for Brian's lizard. Uh, Where's the L? K L L M N. <laughs> God damn alphabet. Uh, it should be down here somewhere. I hope I got it. Uh, there was. There was. Yes, that one. <laughs> and it needs to be in blue. Well, actually, he said red. Yeah. Configuration. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Well, there we go. Kept my kept my promise, son. Right. And I mean, uh, this truck. I love it. I love the Scania. Um, yeah. So uh, we're gonna check that out because uh, it will might be needed down in the dark, dark coal mine. So here we go with this one. Oh, I should have installed the uh, follow me mod. Yeah, yeah. Gonna do that next time. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I've been I've been playing a lot of Cyberpunk, and the cars, uh, handling the cars in that game, that's just treacherous. I mean, they got no f no friction on the on the tires and just skid around and yeah. Uh, but it's good to be back. It's really good to be back. I almost had a I almost had a burnout for Farming Simulator 19. I think I played a little bit too much, um, so I just choose to have a have a few weeks break because I really do love this game. I love it so much. So uh, having a burnout that's not something I really aim for. Definitely not. And uh, yeah, mods are starting to come out again pretty soon. I think um, what is it today? It's Friday today. And Monday, uh, the uh, the Giants Mod Hub should be started updating again with the mods. That's pretty awesome. And uh, we can look into some of the new mods in this uh, playthrough here. There we go. Oh, yeah, I also forgot. I need to uh, change the settings here. Oh, the first episode, I mean... Now you can see all the things that I'm usually doing behind the, the screen or behind the camera. Off recording. What do you say? Off, 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 off. Uh, sure. Uh, withering, off. Yeah, crop destruction. <laughs> off. Uh, priority. Uh, well, I'll think about it. Uh, line required. Yeah, on. Weeds. Uh, no. Uh, automatic. Uh, no. Dirt. Traffic. On. Yeah, sure. Fine. Normal. Uh, easy. Let's do it hard. Uh, next is here. Normally, I don't have to change anything around. Yeah, it should be fine. Yes, let's save it. Yeah, there we go. Good. Ah, nice. Right, this one. All right. First, a little teeny tiny weight on the back. Which way are you facing? Should be this way around. So yeah, we're going to do a lot of mowing and uh, produce a lot of diesel so we can get the uh, coal mine up and running. And then we're going to go for the plot of land where the mammoth mill placed. And I guess we sooner or later need a tanker for water as well. <laughs> Look at that. Ah... <laughs> uh. That's funny. Yeah, it's a terrible color combination. I know. I know. Bear with me. It's gonna be better. I have some... Uh, I have some favorite tractors that I... Whoa, oh, hello. Need to bring over. I uh, already got the tricycles, But there's a... Uh, stair. Whoa, oh, 
uh, version 1.8, I think. I really love that tractor. Got the beautiful sound. And then what we got else? We got, uh, well, we got some class. Class Serion 5000 I like to play around with. Because it got the all wheel steering. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. Don't even think about it. Right, I'm going to start chop down some trees here. Let's just put that up. Whoopsie dozy. Uh, actually, we need to take the truck back and get the tanker. Nah, maybe we should buy a second truck. How much we got? 214. Nah, running out of money pretty fast. Alright, let's chop down some trees. Uh, hello? Um, hello? No? Oh no, this one. Nope, that was the... <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Start you up. So let's see. How do you handle on this map? I don't have access to it. What? I don't. What? You see me what? Oh. Well. Hmm. But I need some wood chips. Uh, how much is that? Uh, 153. Eh. Well. Mm, mm, let me see. Do we really need it then? I mean, do we have some trees? Or places that we do own? How about in the front here? Can we uh, grab some of those? Let me see. We can. So, why don't we do that? Hmm. Huh. Or oh, actually, what do we need? Oh, we do need diesel and we do need water, right? Yeah, water and coal rock. Yeah, they're gonna spawn once we get diesel. Huh. Um. <laughs> well, uh, diesel we're gonna get from the fermenting silo. Water, yeah, we need a tanker. We need that. Uh, we need another truck. How much were you? Two hundred. Eh, that's a lot of money. Uh, well, hmm, we're gonna need it, right? Yes, we're gonna need it. Okay, so what color? You persuade me. You have persuaded me. A ah, little bit of drink. Hmm, white. Uh. No, not really. Navy? Yeah, we'll go with Navy. And that one, right? Yeah, engine setup, 13,000 extra. That's too... Eh, well, yeah, there we go. Now we're broke. Well, anyways, we got the things to get going down here. We just need some water, some diesel. I mean, we can use the same tanker for water and diesel, right? So, actually, we can go to the coal mine right now and start filling this up with water. Then we need a water sprout somewhere. Hopefully, we can find that on the way. Fill you up with lovely, lovely water. I'm gonna take you back to Eleanor's and start shoving in some diesel. Yeah, let's do that. I got 17,000 left. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have a lot of money when uh, we're gonna have the diesel reduced. We can also sell diesel, right? Uh, we can also sell the silage. Well, that means I just drove the tipper to the coal mine for the wrong reasons. Ah, great. Well, anyways. Water? Water anywhere? Do we really need to go buy one? Must be some water thingy between me around here. Hello? No? Really? Hmm. What about on the map? Does it show on the map? No? 
Mm. Well, how much is it? Can we find one? And this, nope. Uh, placeables. Mm. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Uh, placeables, RI, placeables, water trigger, 500. That's fine. Um, but we can't place it because we don't own. Jeez. All right. Well, let's place it over here. Um, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean out this area here because I think we need to set up a few things, including a silo and, and whatnot. What's that over there? Oh, that's the iron. Uh, let's put it here. Like uh, so. I think it is. Yeah. Dude, there we go. All right. And we have to remove some trees. That's fine. Then we can plunk down our quarry silo. Let's go through here. There we go. Oh, you're kidding me. There's one right there. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, well, then we got two. And... I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm going for one hour of recording and then with the edit and everything else, I think we're going to end up with, uh, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm going to do that. That should uh, give me enough time to make a decent recording. I hope you bear with me. It's kind of the first time I'm doing this pretty raw and uncut as possible. Well, there will be some cuts here and there until I get the hang of it so to speak so filling this bad boy up I don't remember how much it is uh, can we see coal mine yes open coal rock how much do you hold there we go one millimeters ah so we can fill it up once more all right I mean I will do some cuts uh, in between driving around because you don't want to see me drive around all the time but yeah i think we're gonna uh, remove many of these trees and then until next time i think i will do a lot of grindy mowing so we're gonna fill the silo up with a lot of grass so we're gonna have a lot of silage we can sell next time around and hopefully diesel to get this bad boy running and it also provide us with some gold we can sell and oh yeah for the rocks down here we also need the uh we also need the flatbed so we do need to cut down a lot of trees and sell some wood chips um i think we can sell some wood chips somewhere on the map Probably to a very bad price. Uh, not uh, 170. Oh, it's better by Lowe's. Teenage huh. uh, wood products. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's right there. Yeah, we don't need to. Do we need to own that? No, it's a sell. Play sell point. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, just gonna find something to sell. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We're gonna sell some silence then. All right, let's park you here. So let's get some trees cut down. What did I park it? There we go. Oh, 
Well, that's true. You're going to cut a lot of uh, wood chips down then uh, cut a lot of wood chips down. Going to cut a lot of trees down. Uh, we've got an internal capacity of 3 million liters. So that should do it. And then we've got the chipper down here. Then we can start selling off some wood chips. Yeah, that'll be the trick. All right, let's start you up. Can we cut down some trees now? Yes, we can. Look at that. Yoink. And it's gone. Ah, lovely. Yoink. And it's gone. That's very efficient. Yes, look at that. Already 30,000. Well, some might call it cheating. I call it efficiency. Definitely. Look at that. I think we're into a good start. A little confusing. Didn't quite work out as I uh, have intended in my uh, head, but that's fine. We got one goal at least, and that's to get the uh, mammoth mill as soon as possible up and running. And actually, we also need the iron uh, mine to run as well, don't we? Yes, we do. But that's fine. I mean, uh, a chipper load full of signage. It's gonna bring in a lot of money. And we got the silo and uh, it's producing as we uh, are cutting these trees down. So uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. We only need the uh, 400,000. Yeah, should be no problem. No problem whatsoever. Well, actually, we need a little more than that, don't we? Because we also need the iron mill, or the iron no, ore mine, it's called, sorry. Um, hmm, how much is that? That is, what is it, 100, 190, ah, okay, so 4, 5, 6, 600,000, plus a little extra, and a little bonus. How about silage? Uh, silage is the landfill. Oh, okay. Well, that is all the way up here. That's quite the drive. Uh, who else? The barn? That should be down here, over there. Huh. Hmm. From here, over to the barn. It's quite the difference. Huh. Huh. Well, gotta think about that. I mean, the quantities we're gonna unload might have a significant impact. But then again, not really sure. So, eh. was it you who was complaining? No. Ah, this one's over there. Ah. Well, this is pretty all right. What do we got now? 200,000. Yeah. It goes pretty fast. Lovely. Yeah, so getting that mammoth mill up and running, that's going to be uh, pretty crucial. Now I'm thinking about it, there's something on the Richie's Island. It did use wood chips as input, not coal. You could use both, right? Well, actually we can uh, we can take a little sneak peek on the Trello site. Because if you're in doubt, I'm gonna do just that. So let us just do that. Let's do that. Let's take a little peek here. Uh, the information cards. All right. So we need to locate uh, the mammoth mill. Right. 
Oh, I'm pretty thirsty today. Uh, more juice. Ah, lovely. Oopsie, there we go. The mammoth mill. Uh, produce all lumber and steel products in one factory. Yay, input water, ore, coal, deliver logs, purchase logs, deliver wood chips instead of logs. Ah, so it's the... Um, Okay, so yeah, we need wood chips instead of logs. Oh, that's very nice. And it gives us lumber, paper, plywood, pallet, firewood, resin, wood chips, steel, drill pipe, barrels, empty cakes. <laughs> yes. So we actually, yeah, we need ore and coal and more water. All right, that's perfect. And a lot of wood chips. And we're producing a lot of wood chips right now. Couldn't be better. Cool. Yeah, so if you're in doubt, then... Uh, Take a look at the treasure site and information cards. It also has some pictures where to unload stuff and uh, load stuff. Or if you have other questions, then just yeah, write them in the comment section below and I shall do my very best to uh, give you an answer. I should tell my kids I can answer anything. Might not be the correct answer, but I can answer anything. <laughs> no, that's not true. Just a little giggle. It's all fun. It's all good. Right, what do we got now? Almost four hundred thousand. Wow. Yeah, I think we're gonna take all. The, come on, we're gonna take all the trees and see what we're gonna end up with. Bank. There we go. That was all the trees. Can we take these as well? Got 600, almost 700. Yeah, 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 there we go. <laughs> Maybe we can get one million? No. Let's see. Uh -huh. Can't do that one. How uh, about this one? Nope. And this one. And the very last one. Very last one. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to try something. If we can sell it at the best price, which was at the... Uh, where was it? At the Teams Wood Products. If we can sell it here, then we're going to go to Lowe's. I know it's a very, very bad price, but then at least we can get moving a little bit. I don't. Thank you. I'll jump in here. Start you up. Are you taking your sweet time to load, huh? How uh, how are we doing with the uh, fermenting thing? We are done. How much we got? Uh, 250,000 units of silage and 52,000 units of diesel. Well, that could bring in a little bit of money if we can sell the diesel. I am actually not sure. Yes, there we go. <gasps> oh, a Tony Tires, of course, and Teams Autos. Yeah, maybe that would be... Yeah. How much do we need down here? How much do we need in the coal mine? Uh, diesel, diesel, diesel. 50,000. Hmm. 
Well, we're not that far off then to get this started. Hmm. All right, let's go see if we can sell this. Uh, this looks very bright, doesn't it? Hmm. Got a different texture than normal. Bright wood chips. I like it. Hmm. Right. Uh, let's see. We need to go to Jeans Wood Products, and it's up there. So we should have a green beam of light. Let me see, somewhere over there, just next door. Yeah, we can put up some silos here, that'll be neat. Right. How do we enter? Somewhere around here. Oh. All right. Go in there, uh huh. Well then. Ah, looking good, looking good. How much are we gonna get for this? Oh, look at the money pouring in. 100. 140,000 now. Well, that's more like it. That's more like it. That's good. That's a good start. Right, we are reaching the one hour mark. We got a we got a good progress going on. I like it. I like it. Yeah, so as I said, next time around I will do a lot of mowing in between. So we're gonna fill up that silo we got. And uh, then we're gonna have a lot of diesel produced. We can sell a Tony tires. Or at Tony's, let's just call them Tony's. And we're gonna get some diesel here as well. And we can sell off the diesel we're not gonna use. I mean, if it's only 50,000 down here, uh, we might need to consider. Maybe we can have some. Do we have a placeable? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not, not a gas station, but. Um, uh, a liquid storage for diesel down here. Uh, let me see. Silos. <laughs> liquid storage, 45,000. Hmm. 25 million liters. That should do it. I think we're good. Um, so the question is, do we have a storage somewhere down here i mean we might have something up here we can go take a look but i think i'm gonna plunk down a, a silo there for all the diesel i think it's a good place to put a, a liquid storage here because then we can reach all of the mines sooner or later uh let's just have a quick this down here to take a little look um Oh, I need to bring up the map. Haven't real familiarized myself with the map yet. Yeah, look at this. So this is all the uh, buildings where we can store stuff. Mm -hmm. um, diesel, however. Yeah, byproducts, down plastic drywall, so much stuff to do. Face masks. Is that a doggy sweater that's here? <laughs> Lovely. Uh, stoves. Yeah. Squ what? Scrambled eggs. Ash browns. Mm, yeah, now I'm hungry. Thanks. Uh, I'm not seeing... I think there should be some kind of liquid storage around here. If I'm not mistaken. It's just... Where? Maybe there's not. Maybe there's not. Reserved for future updates. Huh. Intriguing. Intriguing. More good stuff to come. A lot more. 
Ooh. Wow. Okay. I don't see a liquid storage facility. Well, that's fine. I guess this is the whole, uh, the whole idea. Would we have a, a placeable? Right. Should we just plug that down next to the mines? That's fine. And call it an episode. Right here. It's going to be a little storage uh, area. Cool. Right. Uh, where was it? Our silos, liquid storage, there we go. Oh, that's a big boy. Do we have room for it? Uh, yes, I own this land. Oh, uh, do we have to... Um, I guess we have to do this. Uh, there we go, active extended placeables. Yeah, that might be the reason why. Let's try it again. Ha 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 Gotcha. Yeah, remember that, guys and girls. If uh, you have issues placing down things, then remember to tick off the option in the uh, global company scripting. Uh, something like where well, we're unloading, loading on the sides, not back. No. Mm, kind of in the middle. A little here or there. I'm not going to explode the... Uh, Landscape. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, we can do a little landscaping later. This is cool. And we still have room for the other silos that I want to plant down. And that should be the quarry silo. I'm not going to buy that now, but we can just check. See, that's not that big. We're going to have two, one of each, uh, one of each, one on each side. One there and one over here. I think that will do just perfect. But now, it's time to say goodbye. Go up, get diesel, and get some mowing done. So, which way are we going? Which way is the best way you're getting up at Delanor? So we need to go this way around. Yes. So with those words, I thank you very much for well, loved it. So with those words, I thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's raining. Lovely. And until next time, then please take care, stay safe and be cool. Bye. And happy new year.